All right. So during parent-teacher conference, I got some things figured out. Figured out when I was going to do your next test and how I was going to do it. So your next test is going to have two parts. First part, and it's all on the same day, by the way. First part is by hand, no technology whatsoever. And it's just basic stuff that I feel like you ought to be able to do. So anyways, everybody ought to be able to write an augmented matrix. Remember, it goes X, Y, Z, W, bar, and your constants. I don't think there's anything too tricky about this one, but the first column is your X's. So this one has an X. This one does not. This one has one of them, and this one has 12. Your second column is your Y's. We've got a 9, we've got a 6, we've got a negative 1, we've got a negative 12. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because, well, I just am. I, I'm more likely to not make a mistake versus writing horizontally. We have a negative 5, we have a 1, we have a negative 10. I say that and watch me make a mistake. And a 2. And now I'm at W's. That guy has a W. Nobody else does. And then we have a 5, a negative 2, a negative 12, and an 11. Yeah, anyways, there we go. Ta-da! Not too hard. All right, this is some equations that associated with the augmented matrix do not solve. Your systems of equations don't need to mention the 0y or the 0z. They don't need to mention them because there's nothing there. And I don't foresee this being a big issue. Now, if this is an issue, you are in the wrong grade. Something needs to click. You need to mature a little bit more because this is just assigning x, y, and z to a number. So something needs to click. And there you go. Equals two. So hopefully everybody gets those right. Uh, perform a row operation. I expect you to be able to form a row operation. Now this particular row operation is only impacting row two. It's not a solve this system. It's not a get a one zero 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 one zero 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 one situation. It's just do this row two. So the resulting matrix is going to have no change whatsoever to either row one or row three because it's not about row one or row three. It's about row two. So row two is negative two row twos. That means that this becomes a negative two and it says add row one. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. This becomes negative 2 times 2, negative 4, and then add row 1, which is a 4, becomes a 0. This becomes negative 6, add a 6, becomes a 0. This becomes negative 12, add a negative 8, becomes negative 20. Hopefully that's not an end result. That doesn't mean anything, by the way. It absolutely means nothing because there's still a lot of manipulation. This would mean something if a lot of the other operations had been done, but actually looking at this question, this actually does mean something, so ignore me on that. This is definitely an inconsistent system. I'm just being silly. All right, number four, solve this using matrices by hand. You are going, I am going to ask you to solve a very simple two variable system using reduced row echelon form by hand. So, our goal here, if you have forgotten, would be to make this look like 1001 and some constants. Uh, I'm going to make this one a little smaller. I'm going to divide everything by three. Three, two, bar. 4, if I divide by 3, I'm a 2, a 3, and an 11, and that is completely optional. I just wanted to save some time. It's really all I wanted to do. Nothing more. A lot of times you'll see me divide this row by whatever it is, but here I'm going to do that row 1 is row 1 minus row 2. Because 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 4 minus 11 is negative 7. 
And I have no idea what the one I put on your test has you do. I just don't know. This guy is supposed to be a zero. So my next operation is that row two is row two, take away two row ones. Hi, Dr. Peters, you making it? Yeah, I'm just recording a YouTube video. You want to do some math? What's, what's this? Actually, you know, you only have to fail. Does it matter? Um, They're probably still going to fail. Sorry, YouTube. Oh, you can record that? Yeah, I am right now. Oh, hi, Peters. That's Miss Hazelwood, who hates math. Make sure you watch this video. They can't see you. I don't oh, have the, I don't I have the camera. Oh, well, learn math. Two plus two plus four. So we say. Yeah, that's, I don't know what that is. That was, that is, <laughs> that was real cool what you got going there. Um, is that where you get like Y by itself or something? No, um, this is Matrices. Oh, that, I thought that was a movie. It is a movie. Oh, well. What you got that much right. That's more than some. Uh, some kids are lucky they can breathe. All right, where were we? Row two is row two minus two row ones. So one negative, one negative, seven. Two minus two ones is nothing. Three minus, and think about this, because I know some of you all kind of stink at math. Three, take away two negative ones, it's five. So be very careful with your arithmetic there. And now we are at 11, take away two negative sevens, which is actually 25. Now, don't just sit here and blindly copy. Make sure you understand where these numbers are coming from. Two more operations and we're done. Row two is row two divided by five because we want that guy to be a one. One, negative one, negative seven, zero, one, five. And last move is to make that negative one that I'm circling with my pencil here a zero. So row one is row one plus row two, because you're smart enough to know that negative one and positive one are additive inverses. One, zero, negative two, zero, one, five. So my solution is this ordered pair, negative two, five. Here's my solution. Moving forward. Find the value of determinant. This is an ACT standard. It's also a Tennessee standard, too. But the term of a two-by-two two is something that a high school kid is expected to know whether they want to know it or not. But the determinant of a matrix that contains the elements A, B, C, and D can be found by doing A, D, this diagonal, take away that diagonal. So it's the downward diagonal, take away the upward diagonal. Now, it says determinant. Notice this doesn't have the matrix brackets. The bars here mean do determinant. That's what they mean. So anyways, we have A and D would be 6 and negative 2. So 6 times negative 2 take away the upward product of negative 3 and negative 7. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. We're going to take away negative times negative is positive 21. And negative 12 take away 21 is negative 33. Easy peasy, Japanesey, lemon squeezy. All right, basic addition things here. So we're supposed to find twice A plus B. So probably the first thing I'd find would be twice A. And that's literally where you double everything. I'm probably showing more work here than you need to, but I am about to work. So if I kind of distribute that two to everything, because that's the idea. I would have negative 4, if I can write a negative 4, negative 18, 6, negative 4, 18, and 14. There you go. So now I can do the plus B. And the B matrix contains the elements 5, negative 4, 9, 1, negative 8, and negative 9. And then it's just adding negative 4 and 5 makes 1, negative 18 and negative 4 is negative 2, 6 and 9 is 15, negative 4 and 1 is negative 3, 18 and negative 8 is what, 10, and 14 take away 9, last I checked, was 5. And if I made a mistake, fix the mistake, don't be a blind copier. I just don't have time to do this. It's 5.53, I leave at 6 o'clock. Compute the product by hand. 
So hopefully you know that you're dealing with a two by two and you're gonna multiply it by a two by two and the resulting matrix is also a two by two. And hopefully you're beyond actually having to do this, but if you're not, you're not. You want to find each of those pieces by thinking about where they exist. So row one, column one, negative two, three. Column one, negative two, negative one. We multiply across, we get four and negative three. We do the dot product by adding down and we get one. Uh, next up, I'm going to do row one, column two. I like to do it in order because I already have row one without looking, assuming I copied it down right the first place. And then column two would be zero, one. So negative two times zero is zero, three times one is three. I add down and I get a three. Now I'm going to move on down here to row two, column one. Row two is four, two. Got to turn it vertical. Don't forget to turn it vertical. Column one is negative two, negative one. Four times negative two is negative eight. Two times negative one is negative two. Add down negative 10. And the last one I gotta do is row two, column two. Row two is still four, two. Column two is zero, one as it was before over here. Four times zero is zero. I almost wrote four there. Bad, bad math teacher. Four times zero is zero. Two times one is two. Add down and we get two. And there is the product of those two things. And there's one more question on the non-calculator part. I'm sorry, Miss Hazelwood made this video 30 seconds longer than it had to be. Solve for X. And you are told that the determinant of this matrix is 18. So again, when you're doing a determinant, ah, oops, when you're doing a determinant, Apparently I never save this. The determinant of a matrix that contains the elements A, B, C, and D is equal to A, D minus C, B. So we're going to do this downward diagonal, negative 6 times 3. And we're going to take away the upward diagonal, which is a negative X times an X. And we know the result is 18. So negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. Uh, a negative times a negative is positive, and x times x is x squared. We're going to shift our 18 over. x squared is 36. We're going to counter x squaring by square rooting. And there's two answers. You have two, two answers. x is plus or minus 6. They're both valid answers. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. They will both work. I promise you, they both work. Anyways, that is the first part of your test on Friday.